Florida lawmakers have taken the first step in regulating Kratom, an herbal supplement in the coffee family grown mostly in Southeast Asia. Some states have banned it after the federal government raised questions about its safety. As Mike Vasilinda shows us, the problem isn't the supplement, but what's being laced with it. Kratom is legal but unregulated in Florida. It's a big seller at the Natural Life chain of stores. And every day get testimonials from people how this plant has changed their life for the better. Uh, and we hear it multiple times a day, every day. Owner Gabe Suarez requires what he sells to have been tested by a third party to ensure it's pure and safe. You name it, we're searching for it. There's no requirement to do that in law yet. It is used as a popular product in the United States today by 11 to 15 million people. Kratom has gotten a bad rap in the past. Sarasota County banned it in 2014 after reports it could be dangerous. It's perfectly safe. It is not dangerously addictive. Is that it's been adulterated with very dangerous substances, including fentanyl, morphine, and heroin. And because of that, the American Kratom Association supports regulation and testing. About a third of the Kratom population used it like a cup of coffee in the morning for an energy boost and increased focus. Another third used it to reduce anxiety. And then the final third of the, are people that are finding that it can help you wean off of very dangerous opioids. Sarasota is the only county in Florida that has banned Kratom. This legislation would undo that ban. Under the legislation, distributors would be required to test and certify the supplement before shipping to retailers. I think people should have access and have the availability. You just want to eliminate the bad actors and those people that are turning the product into something that it's not. The legislation cleared its first committee eight to nothing. Reporting from the state capitol, Mike Vasilinda, Channel 4, the local station. Researchers at the University of Florida, which has half the research grants for Kratom in the U.S., found it delivered significant pain-relieving benefits and reduced opioid withdrawal symptoms.